Hello guys, Gaming Lime here and welcome your faces and fingers back to another episode of Better Than Venga. This is part number 11, no, it's part number 12, sorry. 12 it is, and since you was last with us, you saw the game against Ast uh, Everton where we won 2-0 in the 6th round of the FA Cup. Since then it's been a bit of a tipsy-turvy um, sort of few games. We beat Burnley 3-0 in the Premier League. Then we had Spartak Moscow in the quarterfinals of the Europa League and we beat them 5-0. And then me being me thought, you know what, I'm not going to play the second leg because we're already comfortably through and I don't want you guys to sit and watch me be boring. And in the second leg, we lost 5-1 and we scored a 93rd minute goal that actually put us through on away goals we was absolutely shocking in this game but we did manage to squeeze through and in between there we lost 5-3 to Liverpool in the Premier League we was an absolute shambles so in this game uh, in this episode we're going to show you Manchester City and we're going to play Huddersfield and as you can see we are second in the Premier League we are four, five, six, seven, three points behind Manchester United, but we have two games in hand. We play Manchester City, and yeah, so let's uh, go into my squad to show you who I've played. We're going to play Czech in goal, Bellerin, Koscielny, De Vrij, Kalashniak, Arthur, Ramsey, Mkhitaryan, Ozil, Iwobi, and Lacazette. Hopefully, we can get a win here against Manchester City and put our Premier League back on track. We was an absolute shambles against Liverpool um, so I'm hoping that our morale is a little bit boosted and we can maybe turn something in this game and hopefully push for that Premier League title. Um, in that game against Liverpool, I think we was 5-0 down at half-time. We did turn it around in the second half. And that second leg against Spartak Moscow, we was absolutely atrocious. Um, so the past two games, we have not been very good whatsoever. Hopefully, Man City have actually fired uh, Pep Guardiola. Um, they fired him pretty early on. I think that happens quite regularly in um, FM 18 saves. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so hopefully this game, these two games will be looking to get our Premier League title promotion, title push back on track. And in the next episode, we're going to have two semi-finals that are very, very critical. I think you probably saw we've got Tottenham in the FA Cup. And... Galatasaray in the Europa League first leg semi-final. Um, I'm going to learn my lesson and actually show you both legs of that Europa League because, oh, Aguero's just hit the post um, because, like I've found out, anything can turn around. We can catch him on the counter-attack here. Bellerin, oh, Ozil was there. Should have probably got in front there. Um, anything can happen in each game. We won 5-0 and I thought that was going to be easy. thought we were going to be through. No no questions. Didn't play or record the one, the second leg. And 5-0 down. And then we managed to sneak a goal in the 93rd minute. It was unbelievable. I didn't know what to do. I was changing my tactics all the time. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this game I think we need to start winning games again I know we've had um, two bad games and we've lost them um, but that's the most we've had back to back this season so I'm hoping it doesn't um, cost us we're 0-0 at half time fairly even game they've had a little bit more possession than us um, Let's go out and keep going. I'm not going to make any changes yet. Um, if we can get a tie out of this game and then beat Huddersfield, uh, that would be a decent two games. We just don't want to lose again and then maybe slip up against Huddersfield. I don't know where Huddersfield are in the table. They are 18th, so but they're close to getting out of the drop zone. 
um, so they'll be looking for points as well. Hoping to get this season done and dusted as pretty much pretty quickly um, because I want to do the transfer window. I've got big big plans for the transfer window, um, and I'm hoping. What can we do here? Everyone's on a six point four. All of my attacking. Take Lacazette off. Bring well uh, a Bamiang on. Who else can I bring on? Let's leave it at that for now. See if Bamiang can nick a goal. It's their corner here. A Bamiang at the near post clears it. Bernardo Silva. Come on, counter attack. Spending a Bamiang. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. A Bamiang. Yes, super sub. He's only been on the field a couple of minutes. And he actually won the header as well on this near post from that corner that we counter attacked from. And then Iwobi nicks it there. Mikatarian sends in a Bamiang. He's one on one on one with the goalkeeper. And he tucks it in the top corner. What a goal. 1 0, 20 minutes to go. Away from home as well at the Etihad, this is would be a very, very good result if, if we can um, keep it. But I don't think we're going to. Here's another attack, and there it is, David Silva. It's 15 minutes to go. I'm going to make a change. Let's bring on Zaych for Erzul. And we'll bring Welbeck on for Awobi. See if they can change anything. Our lead didn't last long. It's from a throw-in. Look at this. There's poor mark in here, to be honest. Aguero lays it into Silva. All my players are just standing there watching the ball. But it's 1-1. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully with our changes we can make something happen here. Again, I wouldn't be too disappointed with a... A 1-1 away from home at the Etihad. But Bellerin's here, in here. His cross goes straight to Edison. And now they're going to counter-attack, aren't they? Yep, they are. It's going to be their highlight. Here's Aguero. Come on, closing down. Bernardo Silva. We're just standing and watching here. We're not really putting in any challenges. And now Gaia's in. Cross comes in. Pedder check. Great save. Another Manchester City corner. Bernardo Silva check again saves the saves the day. Oh, I'm really hoping we can hold on here. We got ten minutes. Do I go defensive? I think we do. We need the points. Let's go defensive and let's go structured. You never know. We could hit them again, but I don't think we're going to. I really think we're going to lose this game. Here is David Silva. Wow. I think I could have shot better than that. Danilo coming on for Kyle Walker. Kalasniak, Ramsey, last five minutes here. Zaych, Bellerin, whip it in. A Bamiang. Easy save for Edison, really. Easy, easy save. Last couple of minutes here. Aguero's picked up a knock. There's five minutes of extra time. Injury time. That's a lot. Can we steal it? Arthur, no, that's poor. Now we're going to get caught on the counter-attack here. Sane squares it to Apas. And now we are in deep, deep trouble. I'm going to go attack him. I'm going to go fluid. And we are going to lose our third game on the trot here, I think. Poor defending. Very poor defending. That's, that's, that's very, very poor. Very poor. And we're going to stay three points behind Manchester United. Which isn't ideal. That's going to be it. Poor, poor showing again. Thought we may have nicked it with a Bamiyang's goal. Or well, can we score here? A Bamiyang. Mikatarian! Oh, in the, seventh, in the sixth minute of injury time. I don't know how that's happened, but that is a huge, huge point. I was down. I was finished. I thought that was it. But Abamyang plays in Welbeck. Welbeck crosses the ball. Abamyang misses his header. It fills to Mikatarian, and Mikatarian scores his 10th goal of the season to give us a huge, huge point against 
Manchester City away from home here unless there is even more added on time and they're going to score here, aren't they? No, they're not. There is the final whistle. Pretty decent game, to be honest. Um, look at that. Two goals in extra time. Very unlucky. I think they were the, slightly the better team, but we did manage to get a big, big point. And I will see you for the Huddersfield game. So here we go, guys, for the Huddersfield game. A couple of changes um, I made. I brought in Jack Wilshere and Danny Welbeck and decided to play a Bamiang up front. So here we go. Hopefully we can get a win here. And I think this might be our game in hand over Manchester United as well. So we really, really need to win. Um, and I'd like a big win, to be honest, to get us to try and get us back on track. As I said, um, Huddersfield are 18th. They're pushing for um, for survival. They're on joint points there with West Brom. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is our game in hand. As you can see, we're on 34. We need to win, um, and that will put us two points ahead of Manchester United um, with four games to go. Danny Welbeck has been injured, but he seems to be okay. He's got a potential knee injury, but we'll keep him out there, see what happens. Um, so I'm really, really hoping for a, a decent result here. We managed to steal something against Manchester City um, earlier on. That's a good ball by Ozil. Welbeck, Mikatari, and there he is again. He scored the crucial equaliser against Man City, but he's put us in front here in the 19th minute. Wilshere plays it into Ozil. Ozil, that's a great pass to Welbeck across the six-yard box. And there's Mikatarian to slot it home. 1-0 Arsenal. We need to keep going here. As, oh, we go one point clear, sorry, at the top of the table. Um, on the same goal difference. That's why um, we need some goals here today. Some, I'd love to take like a 3-0 or a 4-0. That would be ideal. Here is Welbeck. Wilshere spread it wide to look at Bellerin. Look at the space Bellerin's got. Back out to Bellerin. Abamyang. Yes, 2-0. 27 minutes gone. Abamyang again. He's come off the bench against Man City and scored. He started here. I've had my doubts about Abamyang this season, but so far in these two games he has come up good. Goalkeeper should have saved that. Um but a Bamiyang shot too powerful to, to hold and we are 2-0 up against Huddersfield. 33 minutes gone. Again, now we're a goal um, a point ahead and with a plus one goal difference over Manchester United as well. Chelsea with four games to go. I think they might be out of it. They got a seven point gap between Manchester United an eight point gap between us uh liverpool definitely out of it they're not gonna it's a it's all it's a two horse race we've just got a and from now on we've in the four games we've got a just better manchester united so whatever manchester united do we have to do the same or better basically um i will show you the fixtures and how i'm looking to to settle this game uh to to show you those those games, I don't want to show all four, but I might have to, um, depending on how far down to the wire this season goes. In the next episode, there will be um, the two semi-finals: the semi-final in the FA Cup against Tottenham, and the semi-final of the Europa League first leg against Galatasaray. That will be the next episode for you guys to see. Kashelmi's just smashed a header off the post. Koscielny again, De Vrij, Abamyang couldn't get a shot away, Kalasniak picks it up on the halfway line, Jack Wilshere has picked up a knock, a pulled hamstring, he's going to come off straight away, not going to risk that, uh, let's bring Suryom, he can play there, be a bit more defensive, we're 2-0 up, as I say we don't, we would like a few more goals in this game, but a win is the minimum requirement for this Huddersfield game. So we're, uh, Danny Welbeck has picked up a hardcore injury, so he will go off. I'm going to bring Ryan Sessignon on 
um, and play him as a winger because that's the way he wants to play. Um, and he's actually played pretty well for me since signing. He's only played a handful of games. Um, he scored a couple of goals. He scored um, in the Europa League against uh, the ones you guys didn't see. Spartak Moscow in the first leg. I think he scored one of the goals. Here's Siri, De Vrij, Abamyang, Arthur. Oh, hits the post again. We've hit the post twice. Kalajniak, uh, Koscielny and... Um, now Arthur has just hit the post as well. I might play Suri against Tottenham in the next game. Um, just to be a little bit defensive. A bruised ankle for Hector Bellerin. I'm not going to risk him. we got 10 minutes to go. I'm going to bring on Callum Chambers. Hopefully he can just shrug that injury off and it's not a, um, a major one. Whereas if I left him on... He's only got to play 10 more minutes, and we've already pretty much won this game. Um, so we've just got to see this one out. Bellerin comes off, and hopefully he'll be okay for the Tottenham game. Um, let's see. Can we grab another goal here? It's going to be a second yellow card for Moy. He's off. Aaron Moy off. They just had another injury as well. So they're playing. I think they're down to nine men here. Can we get grab another goal? No, it looks like it's going to be their highlight. No, Siri picks it up here. Can we catch him on the counter-attack? That's a good ball. No, it's not. I thought Aubameyang was going to control that. Um, I am getting pretty excited for the end of this season, guys. Um, hope you guys are too as well. If you are, please remember to give it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, it really, really encourages me to make more of these videos. Um, like I said, I've done three fm videos a week and that will continue and there's a bamiang scoring our third goal his second of the day callum chambers the assist kalasniak switches to arthur arthur to urzel urzel out to mikatarian mikatarian out to callum chambers and then chambers to the penalty spot into the back of the net a bamiang scores three nil and that gives us a two goal goal difference now over manchester united as well as that point difference as as well as well as well I keep saying as well that's weird um so yeah that is going to be it guys if you did like this episode please leave it a big thumbs up and of course if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time